Cam Rogers with you here for the 49ers report. Let's take a look now at my top five defensive players entering 2018. I did offensive last week. Let's start things off at number five here. Jaquaski Tart, the strong safety there, and boy is he a player coming off an incredible 2017 season where he made a major third year jump. Take a look at these pro football focus grades here the last three years. So in 2015, 43.4. 2016, 50.8. According to PFF, those are poor grades. 2017, 85.7. He's only 26 years old, entering the prime of his career. 2018 will mark the first time in Tart's career where he's worked under the same defensive coordinator. So you want to talk about continuity. He has it finally. And strong safeties in the Robert Sala schemes usually play up in the box, but Tart was even good in coverage last year. 86.4 pass coverage grade according to Pro Football Focus last season. He's six foot one, 221 pounds, ideal as a strong safety. And of course, Sala comes from the Seattle Seahawks mold back in his old days of coaching. He's gonna utilize some of that blueprint from the Legion of Boom out there in Seattle, which by the way is no more. It's the Legion of Nothing as we stand. So maybe the 49ers could have that new Legion of Boom out in the NFC West. Hey, wanna give a shout out to Mizzen and Maine sporting these comfortable as F shirts, folks. They are beautiful. They are sweat wicking, no ironing needed at all. Comfortable.af is the website to get it done. All right, let's check in with number four on my list now, Mr. Akella Witherspoon. Boy, did he come off a great season back in 2017. I think he's in for an even bigger one in 2018. He's got incredible size, standing at 6'3", 33-inch arms as well. His critiques coming out of college, physicality, and tackling. But it's like night and day now because his physicality is tremendous. His tackling ability is really good as well. Look, he ranked as the 12th best cornerback in 2017, according to Pro Football Focus. And of course, leaking into the 2018 season as well throughout the time there. So for Akella Witherspoon, really a solid player. And I think that he's in for quite a season in 2018, by the way, playing alongside this guy at cornerback, Mr. Richard Sherman, who's now in town. And what an addition he was for San Francisco. He's been the game's top corner in the NFL since 2011, injuries aside, of course. In the past seven seasons, Sherman has led the league in interceptions, passes defended, and completion percentage allowed at 47.4%. 99 pass breakups, by the way, and 32 interceptions since that time. Opposing quarterbacks have had a 47.7 rating when targeting Richard Sherman. Now, the 49ers struggled mightily against the pass last year. They, they did not rank very well, so adding Richard Sherman should really help in that defensive backfield. He is my number three guy on this list. He's a little lower than what you'd expect because he's coming off that Achilles injury and you just don't know how a player will bounce back from that. But I think he'll be fine. I think he'll actually make the Pro Bowl. And I think Akella Witherspoon, by the way, his little uh, partner out there in the defensive backfield, will make a case for the Pro Bowl as well. All right, number two on the list, Mr. Reuben Foster. Yes, he will miss a few games this year. But this guy is the future of the linebacking core for San Francisco. He was the 59th overall player last year, according to Pro Football Focus. Now, his rookie season was really broken into two parts. He dealt with a high ankle sprain and rib injury that sidelined him for the greater part of the season's first eight games. And then in week nine, Foster returned to the field and dominated, collecting 14 tackles. The following week, he played every snap adding another 10 tackles. Pro Football Focus gave this guy an elite grade last season at the linebacker position. And I mentioned how Robert Sala comes from that Seattle Seahawks mindset on that defensive side. I think Foster could be the Bobby Wagner of the 49ers defense there, which is some high praise. Wagner, one of the premier linebackers in the NFL. So Reuben Foster checks in at number two here on my list. So 
I've got different areas of the defense covered here. Defensive backfield, of course, the linebackers as well. How about this guy on the interior? DeForest Buckner checks in at number one, obviously, right? He is the best player on that defensive side for San Francisco. Elite grade, according to Pro Football Focus, a year ago. Notching 52 total pressures as an interior pass rusher in 2017. This guy is legit, and I've mentioned it before. If you are an NFL defensive coordinator and you have a guy like DeForest Buckner and the ability to stick him in the middle there to eat up the A-gaps, eat up the interior offensive linemen, that frees up the edge rushers there on one-on-one -on -one situations against the right tackles and the left tackles of the opposing offensive line. So such a luxury for the 49ers to have this kid in DeForest Buckner, and he's only going to get better. And who knows, maybe he'll be used at defensive end as well. And hey, want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Game Time. Be sure to check them out, chatsports.com slash tickets. That's how you download this fantastic app to get up to 60% off. All your last-minute sports tickets, concert tickets, and theater tickets, get it done. All right, let's summarize my list here, folks. Top five defensive players for 2018. Here you go. DeForest Buckner, Reuben Foster, Richard Sherman checks in at number three, Akello Witherspoon at number four, and Jaquaski Tart with a strong safety there at number five. Did I miss anybody? Be sure to hit me up in comments. Want to hear what you guys have to say. By the way, do you have a question for me in general? Be sure to hit me up on Twitter at MrRogers99 in the comments section as well. You will be on the broadcast this coming Sunday. If you do leave a question, I'll answer it here on air. All right, folks, Cam Rogers here signing off. Be sure to hit me up on Twitter at MrRogers99. Let me know what you think about the program, and I'll see you next time. One more shout-out there to Mizzen and Maine.